Hello everybody, Chuck Bailey with the Bass Channel here and we're doing another Take 5, a different Take 5. We have a special guest for this Take 5 and I have my notes because this is a rad bass that we got to have on the channel and I think you guys are going to like it. So, if you guys haven't been under a rock, Dingwall has made a tremendous presence of itself. It's been around for a long time, but they really, really came on the map with their model for the NG2. The Nolly Get Good model was kind of my introduction to Dingwall, albeit they have been around for a while. You know, you have a lot of famous bass players that use Dingwall. You have Lee Sklar. If you're a bass player, he's in your bass Bible. And we have some local players also that rep Ding Wall and we love them. Uh, they're good friends of ours on the channel. Ashley Reeve and Will Shively. Ashley Reeve is, uh, man, she's she's like the bass player, bass player, man. She's she's amazing. She's played for Filter, she's played for CeeLo Green, she's currently Cher's bass player, and she plays a ton in the Las Vegas music scene. Um, and you have Will Shively, I mean, Everybody knows who Boyz to Men is, right? Will Shively is their bass player. An amazing musician, both of them amazing musicians and they're very good people. But this guy that came across to our channel, his name's Jason Corwin, and he reached out to Chris and he's like, hey man, I have a Dingwall Z. Do you wanna maybe feature that on the channel? And of course we're like, yeah, cause we've never had a Dingwall Z and Dingwall's basses are amazing. It's got a volume control that's push pull, uh, push active, pull passive. It's got a rotary selector that's one through four, and it's got a bass, mid, and treble knob. Each pickup has its own series parallel switch, and this bass comes equipped with a Glock and Clang three band preamp. So this bass is true to form, right? It's definitely recognizable that it's a dingwall by its tonal 
characteristics. Uh, but there's some nuance to it that I think is rad, and I think that's initially why we have such an affinity for some of these other custom models, because it's the small details, always the small details. So, you know, by comparison to the NG2, uh, these, right out the gate, these pickups are, are using completely different materials. You know, the NG2 is uh, their overseas model, but it's also, I feel like the NG2 and the NG3 are their most popular models. And, uh, you know, they have a, a kind of a notorious history, and I don't mean notorious in a bad sense, but, you know, when you play those pickups, their neodymium pickups, it's very low. I'm a ding wall! You just hear it. You feel it, you're like, whoa, that is huge. The Z is not so... Kyle, drywall, punchy, angry. And the difference between that, uh, you know, out the gate is the Z uses Alnico pickups. That's something that I, I have such a, 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 a it's like a home cooked meal thing. Alnico pickups for me are always where my heart and my ears gravitate towards. I just feel like they're a better pickup for my play style. But that's the that's the secret, right? The play style comes into in into forward and kind of you know needs to be acknowledged immediately. Um, the NG3 and the NG2 bases they are very pronounced. The the neodymium pickups that they use they're very like I mentioned they're very in your face. That's Dingwall for those bases, and it's only accentuated by the players that are playing them that you know bring that to the forefront. I've never gotten a good tone that I like out of the neo magnets. Uh, I don't hate them. I just find them to be very, like I said, ding wall. <laughs> uh, that just to use them as an example. But this Z, you'll hear it in the examples that we have. It's, it's very balanced. It's got a great focus. It's got a very versatile uh, tone that I feel complements what I am wanting to hear from a bass tone. In my head, the comparison is, it's very nice. A big thanks to Jason Corwin for bringing that C by. Um, it's an amazing base. Dingwall is a great company. Again, I, I'll say it, uh, I love Sheldon and, and Peter and Felipe. Their whole team uh, is amazing. They make wonderful instruments. Their customer service is unparalleled. It's really top tier. Um, it's one of those companies that I absolutely think you would be happy with if you had an opportunity to work with them. And even if you don't, right? Don't get hung up on the endorsement thing. Say you just want a company that uh, backs their product and makes amazing bases and they make themselves available for your questions and concerns. This is one of those companies, right? I've mentioned it before, you know, MTD, uh, Dingwall, Sadowski, a lot of these companies, um, they're, they're very adamant in being available for the base community. They take your investment and your partnership with them very seriously. And I mean, it's not often that you have the owner of the company responding on social media for problems and issues and concerns that players are having with, with uh, gear, with uh, malfunctions, with anything. I've seen so many instances where Sheldon and his team say, hey, sorry you ran into this problem. Uh, send us a DM and we'll get you that part out for free. Like, that's crazy. And I think that's rad. I, I, like I said, Dark Glass is one of those companies that does that. Uh, Dingwall does that. Um, MTD does that. There's just a handful of companies that are really uh, adamant about taking care of the people that support them. And I think uh, it's it's great that we're able to show that support in turn. Check out their other bases. You can check out uh, Dingwall below and, uh, you know, Man, tell us what you thought. I thought the Z sounded pretty rad myself. I'm a little jealous I didn't get a chance to play it, but you know, maybe there's always next time. But again, like, dislike, we appreciate your feedback and your viewings either way. If you're not a member and you wanna check that out, it's super cheap. You can, uh, you can 
subscribe and then not subscribe as a YouTube member anytime. Uh, that gives you access to all kinds of exclusive content, behind the scenes stuff, jokes, videos, different kinds of things and takes and opinions on a lot of the gear that we've shown you on the free channel. And this is just more deep dive stuff and, and uh, B-sides, right? For lack of a better term. It's cool. It's all cool. Um, we appreciate you guys. Thank you again to Dingwall. Thank you again to Jason and all of our Dingwall players in Las Vegas. We love you all. Until next time, Chuck Bailey with the Base Channel and Take 5. We'll see you later.